Good afternoon and welcome to Tuesdays at 2. Uh, this week we have a special treat. We're in our corporate offices and I have with us today Chris Allen, our Director of Purchasing. Um, Chris has been with us on the show before about a year ago and um, has been with Cornerstone Homes for about a year and a half. So thanks Chris for joining us again. Glad to have you on with us. Um, today we're going to be talking about the supply chain and how that's impacted our industry and um, you know especially in the home building industry and some of the things that we've dealt with in this past year and kind of a look ahead into 2022. So um, Chris last year we met about this time and sort of mm -hmm. talked about what was going on. What have you seen in the last year? More of the same. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but uh, just supply chain you know we're having issues just uh, getting everything that we need to, to build the houses so it's just been pretty much the same thing all year and, and looks uh, looks like it's you know headed that way again but uh, so you have been in the business for 30 some years and we're so glad to have you as part of our team during a time like this because you pretty much know every vendor in Richmond and the um, in Virginia market because you've been doing this for so long um, and that's been a huge help to us um, in our industry and having good vendor relationships um, so you're on the phone a lot uh, constantly yeah. and so what kinds of things are you dealing with like on a daily basis what are some of the things that you are having to overcome we're just busy trying to make sure that we have product to to put in the homes and and as uh, we keep getting notifications that something's not going to be available you know we have to go out and find a, a suitable alternative to to that so it's believe it or not it's pretty busy uh time right now with appliances and cabinets and and several other things just making sure that we have them we have them in in time mm -hmm. um garage doors and we've pretty much seen it across the board now okay uh, and the same with price increases i know you i hear your department say that you're getting a lot of emails with price increases and that seems to be pretty consistent Yes, I've gotten more price increases this year than I've gotten in my entire career. Oh, so in one year, <laughs> and that's um, saying something. Yeah, we've seen um, some trades have uh, eight and nine increases in the, this past year. So when we typically see one every spring, most uh, manufacturers will go and, and do a price increase in the spring for the year. Um, but we're seeing you know one about every two months now. So right. the manufacturers are going up four or five, six times, uh, just depends on the availability of, of their materials. Sure. And so I think we're seeing that reflect in some of the home prices and things like that, not only of our product, but other um, competitors and that sort of thing, just in general, home prices are um, trending upwards as we've seen. Um, and as far as, you know, I guess what I'd say, um, navigating the supply chain and our team out in the field you're on the phone with them a lot how how is this impacting them it's pretty much the same for them as it is for us just a little different where we're struggling to to find the product to get to them and they're not getting it or getting it on time so they're having uh challenges getting the home built and and doing it like in, in an order that that we normally do we usually start from a and go to z but some right now we're having to to skip around a little bit and fill in the gaps and then wait for something to get delivered uh so they're having uh having some issues with that which is creating some delays in construction and time we see our uh, build cycles are stretching out further because of of course we're waiting on the on the, on product, the materials on and materials. things like that um, so, you know, just as a home buyer, somebody that's under contract, things to note that you might not um, be getting your home built in the exact time frame that we discussed initially at contract because of these changes. Um, there may be, we have had to adjust some of our appliances and swap out some of that in recent weeks, I know. Um, so that, that can be a factor um, and not, we don't, whenever we make a swap, we have to swap of equal or greater value for what we've taken out. And so that um, we've been successful with and been able to accommodate and um, continue to please our customers with um, great product yep. and great, um, great um, value in their homes. Um, so I know we're nearing the end of completion of the farmstead in um, 
Chickahominy Falls and we're nearing the end of construction and completion in the Grove. So that, um, that's that been great and a, a challenging year to get those under our belt. Um, we, we will be closing our first homes in River Falls uh, this month or early next month, um, which is great. Um, and I know it has been, you know, challenging just getting all of these closings um, done. And uh, is there anything else that you think we need to share with our homeowners to make sure that they continue um, to have trust in us and um, understand that they're continuing to receive the value for their home that, you know, we're contracting them with? Right. Yep. Yeah, I'll just say, you know, once again, like I said, last time, just be patient. We're we're working hard every day. We spend hours and hours on the phone every day trying to find the products and, and making sure things are available when, when the field needs them for construction. So uh, it's, it's a constant battle. Sometimes we'll find something and before we can get it delivered, it's already out of stock and we have to try something else. So right. just uh, have some patience and, and talk to your project managers and they'll fill you in on what's going on because we, we are having uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of issues. Sure. So communication is key. And at Cornerstone Homes, we do um, make weekly update calls with your, uh, if you're under contract. So um, somebody that's under contract and in the construction process should be we receiving weekly updates from our construction and sales team as to what's going on with their home. Um, and as I've said to many homeowners before, they're going to give you the best information that they have available at the time that they speak with you. But as Chris just reiterated, that messaging um, could be erroneous within 24 hours because they might have ordered something and by the time the order was placed and serviced or pulled, it was not available. So we are constantly trying to shift and move and groove and um, we're grateful to have Chris with such great knowledge and expertise um, sort of managing and um, commanding the ship at this time for us with our purchasing department. So um, we appreciate everyone's business and we appreciate you being here with us today. And we're really, um, you know, continuing to forge through this and build great homes um, for those 55 and over. Thanks. <laughs>